Hi Taylor, uh, this will be some video feedback for you on your web banner. You've got two weeks to go. If I can help you in any way, don't hesitate to reach out. Taylor, this is a really sophisticated job, and I see that you have used the video timeline editor. Uh, that's, you know, very advanced. Did you notice here that you could put an audio clip? This is a channel reserved for soundtrack. It's not, it's not required. Just thought you might like to know that. Okay, so um, let's back it up and play it. Nice. Fades in very gradually. Using the timeline, the video timeline editor uh, will give you smoother effects because it automatically inserts tweening. Um, you could do this in the frame-based editor too but not, not as easily. And uh, really, uh, kudos to you for tackling the video timeline editor. It's an interface that you'll see again in other programs. Uh, it's pretty typical of video editing to have <coughs> layers like this, channels, tracks, whatever you want to call them, um, for various media. In, in terms of design, it's, it's really lovely. I, I don't know what to recommend, except you know I would back the type off from the um, edge. Like print, you know, a web banner ad, you really don't know what's going to be around it, uh, what context it will be in. So best to be careful about the edge. Um, contact information, think about that. Now, the typeface, you know, it's not a corporate typeface, but I do like it. It's a script typeface. It seems to contrast well enough against the uh, engraved typeface. A, what I would suggest is, um, you know, look at your type carefully. Take a look at other professionally designed travel and leisure ads, for hints, and you're going to want to have some kind of contact information, I'm thinking. Um, sometimes flopping a photograph, reversing it, uh, it, creates a different sense. So try that. Try reversing it. It's objects, so they can be reversed. Um, think about that, and if, if there's a silhouette in here, you know, maybe move around the objects so that, if you can, so that there's maximum, uh, say, contrast between the logo and the background. There's not much else I can say other than, you know, good job. Um, it's organized nicely in terms of layers. I can turn things on or off uh, at will, so that's good. Whoops. In order to do that, you have to stop and back up the uh, animation, but good. Good job. Um, and also, compare it continually against the print ad. You're going to want to make both of them you know, appear, appear the same or similar. Alrighty, I uh, look forward to seeing how you um, make the two look alike and, and uh, polish them.